Hi students, welcome to my class on engineering graphics. I am Dr. Vinod Kumar. This question, development of surfaces 14, is about a tetrahedron. A tetrahedron. What is a tetrahedron? A tetrahedron is a small triangular pyramid. Small triangular pyramid. You know what is a triangular pyramid is? We have not discussed the tetrahedron. That is why I am explaining the, the solid itself. A triangular pyramid has got an equilateral triangular base. Regular triangular pyramid has got an equilateral triangular base and apex and three isosceles triangular faces. Three isosceles triangular faces. If you assume the height is reduced, height is reduced and the stroke when the three Equilateral isosceles triangles on the sides become equilateral. I repeat, stop when the three isosceles triangles on the sides become equilateral. It is called a tetrahedron. Therefore, a tetrahedron has three plus one, four equilateral triangles. Four equilateral triangles. Agreed? Four equilateral triangles. One is at the base, three as the faces. There are four corners, one, two, three, four. Four corners. A line connecting a corner to the center of its opposite triangular face is called an axis. Therefore, there are four axes. Agreed? Four corners and four axes. Axis is not unique. Just like in the case of an octahedron, where there are six corners and three axes. Here, there are four corners and four axes. Agreed? This is specified by only one dimension. A tetrahedron side A completely defined. The height is fixed. Once A is given, the height is fixed. You need not mention the height. Agree? The height is fixed. Now, in this case, the tetrahedron rests on HP on a triangular face with one side of that face parallel to VP. One side of that face parallel to VP. What is the elevation? Elevation is an equilateral triangle. Okay. Let's draw that. A B C A B C D D is the fourth corner. Since it is not unique, axis is not unique, I call it a DC. Okay. To draw the elevation, you have to project A to XY, A get A dash, C to XY, you get C dash, B to XY, you get B dash, on the projector through D, B are projected through B and D coincide, somewhere on this is D dash, where is D dash, we don't know. Now, how to find D dash, that's the question. You know, AB equals BC equals CA equals true length of DA equals true length of DB equals true length of BC. When the sides become equilateral, the side become when the three triangular faces become equilateral, when the three triangular faces become equilateral, this becomes equal to the side. Isn't it? That's why. AB equals BC equals CA equals true length of DA equals true length of DB equals true length of BC. What you do is draw a horizontal line through D, D as center, DA as radius, draw an up, you get A1, project A1 to XY, you get A1 dash, with A1 dash as center and this side as radius. Here the side is 50. Side is 50. The question says the side is 50. 50 as radius, cut an arc. A1 dash as center, 50 as radius, cut an arc. That is D dash. So that, so that, This is, this is the elevation of the tetrahedron. A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash is the elevation of the tetrahedron. Now the problem is, this tetrahedron is cut by a cutting plane. Cutting plane. Vertical cutting plane, parallel to VP. Vertical cutting plane, parallel to VP, passing through the axis, which is vertical. Passing through the axis, which is vertical. That means it passes through D. Where is the cutting plane? 
This is the cutting plane. H T. Where all does it cut? It cut A B at one, D at two, B C at three. If you project one, this is one dash, three dash. This is two dash. And if you want to join A dash one, one dash, two dash, two dash, three dash, and two, three dash, one dash, and hatch it, it gives you the sectional elevation. That gives you the sectional elevation. In this particular problem, you are not asked to draw the sectional elevation. Therefore, I am not doing that. Our problem is. Mark this cutting plane in the development of the tetrahedron. Mark the cutting plane in the development of the tetrahedron. What's the development of the tetrahedron? It is very interesting shape. Listen, the base is ABC, isn't it? ABC. Draw ABC first. A, B, C. Visualize the tetrahedron. Visualize the tetrahedron base. Cut along CD and DB and move D and place it here. I repeat. Cut along DC, along BD and bring D and place it here. What do you get? You get a triangle here. What is this? This is D. Similarly. Cut AD and DB and bring D and place it here. What do you get? B. Cut D, cut DC, DA and place D there. What do you get? You get another triangle here. What is this? This is the development of the tetrahedron. What is it? It's an equilateral triangle. It's an equilateral triangle. It's an equilateral triangle whose side is equal to 2A if A is the side of the tetrahedron, 2A. Side is 50, so this is 100. It's an equilateral triangle of side 100. Agreed? Very interesting shape. Now, how to bring these points there? AB has 1, AB has 1, 1, AB has 1, 1, BC has 3. No, this is A, this is A, 1. 3. AB has 1. BC has 3. This is D. 2. 2. 2. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3. 3. That's a development. This phase DCA. DCA is not cut. So there is no point on DCA. DCA. There is no disturbance. It is only cutting the base and this two side triangular face. The base and the two side triangular face. Interesting question. The procedure of finding D dash is marked here. This is 15. I hope you understand. Very interesting question. Okay. Thank you.